This is gonna be a random vlog. So what I'm doing is I just got back from the store actually. I'm gonna go ahead and unpack <clears throat> what I got. I just went to Target. Basically, I got everything from the Tap of the Brown collection. Um, it released on January 8th and I went to like Target two, maybe three different times looking for the stuff and it wasn't in stock. So I went to a different Target today and they had everything. So I got everything that I've been wanting. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you everything that I bought. <laughs> I'm really excited about all this stuff. Um, I got a 64 ounce water bottle and it has this cool little handle here. And ooh, you can't even see it, wow. <laughs> this is the one. And it says, yes you can. So I like that touch to it. Just a nice little inspirational water bottle and it is huge. This is, um, I usually aim to drink this amount of water per day. So let me open, try to open it. Let me see if there's a straw in here. I'm gonna have to put you down to do that. <clears throat> um, okay, there is no straw, it's just an open thing. That is fine. Let me see if I can put this in the dishwasher. Usually this type of thing you can't. hand wash only all right that's the first thing the next thing i need to hurry up and put in the fridge are these vegan sweet potato and cauliflower um ravioli this just sounds really good I, um it doesn't really come with that much so if i like it i'll make sure to go back and get some more um i think there were also two other kinds but this is the one that seemed the best to me you know i would definitely at least give it a try and then i got one of her teas i got the organic lemon balm relaxation herbal tea supplement it's caffeine free which is great and this is ooh, focus this is what's in it so i can't wait to try this <clears throat> and then i got a small pack of her notebooks for work i do use a lot of notebooks um i keep them in my pocket to take notes and stuff so this will be really useful for me because these are like pocket sized um, and then I think I got two of these um, salt and vinegar cashews salt and vinegar is like my favorite combination of flavors I love salt and vinegar chips just anything salt and vinegar I love so that's why I got two of these here's the other one can't wait to try those and then I got one of her salad plates and this is only five dollars this is so heavy duty it's heavy it's great quality and i just love the color scheme of it it's super bright and i don't know it just makes me feel good <laughs> so i only got one of these um and i also got one of her cereal bowls which also has the yellow and white dots on it um, this is just cute. So I only got one set of that and then I got the this spread. I don't want to mispronounce this word chimichurri. Um, I honestly got these for my husband because he is like into spreads and sauces so anything that looked interesting I just picked it up in case you know he's interested in this. Um, I also got a cilantro lime spread i love cilantro so much um i can't wait to try this i feel like this is gonna be really good <clears throat> i also got the garlic spread which i love garlic as well can't wait to try this and i got her lemon lemon garlic and dill hummus i need to put this in the fridge as well Just in the fridge and i got the jalapeno lime hummus so i can't wait to try these with um some chips or something or vegetables so that's the end of that haul so what i'm going to do next is put all this stuff up show my husband these sauces to see what he thinks about it and then i'm probably gonna i just got a new wig um let me turn you guys around i just got a new wig from love me hair i 
I can't wait to try it on. Um, it's a mixed color with a suit bang. It's um, like lace closure or something. I think it's only five by five. So I don't have to worry about doing the hairline or anything. It seems like it's just a put on and go type of wig, which that's what I need because I'm so busy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff up and then I'm gonna try on my wig and hopefully it is as cute as it is shown online. I can't wait to try it. So I have this fabulous new wig from Love Me Hair. Um, before I get into the wig, I'm going to show you um, how it came. So it came in this Love Me Hair box. Um, it was a little beat up when it arrived, but you know what? That doesn't really matter. Um, everything that's on the inside is good to go. So um, came with this lovely gnome. It says, enjoy your hair journey from now on. From Helena, founder of Lovely Hair. And then it comes with this bag. I assume this is what they want you to store the wig in. Um, that's good because it's breathable, so your wig will be able to air out and stuff. So that's cool. And it comes with this cute pouch. Let's see what's inside. Um, okay, wow. It comes with this um, thing here. It says love me on it. And okay, that's cool. It's a mirror with this little... Um, I guess handle here so that you don't smudge the mirror at all. That's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and put this in my purse Yeah, that's good um, And then this looks like elastic band, but it is Animal print that is cute <laughs> um, And there's also an edge brush I Won't need this because I don't have edges so <laughs> Um if you have edges, that'll be good for you. Right, and then it comes with a $5 gift card. It's valid for three months, so um, there's a code and everything. I guess you can use this on your next purchase, but this wig was, um, I haven't bought wigs in such a long time. This is the first wig I bought in maybe about a year. So I probably won't use that. Um, this is just a user's guide. Comes with instructions on how to return stuff, uh, hair care, and uh, the refund policy. All right, so that's that. So I have the wig on a stand right now. <clears throat> so this is her. I will, let me zoom out. So this is her. Um, there is the bang. I like and she's curly right now in the um, advertisement photo it looked like the curls were all the way brushed out so this look is not something that I would typically go for um, but it's okay and again this is the front and then let me go ahead and show you the cap construction um, So there's only a little bit of lace, which is great because I am not good with doing the hairline stuff and all that. Two combs in the front. Um, there's a comb in the back. There is a strap already in this wig, which is great because I don't have to sew it on. You can remove the strap very easily. I don't know if you can see that, but you can remove the strap just by taking this off. Um, and then there are also little adjustment straps in the back. So I am going to go ahead and cut off the lace. And for me, I just use, these are like eyebrow scissors, but they are extremely sharp. So some people use a razor to cut the lace. I use these. It has worked for me. So I'm just going to cut it straight across. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Um, so... I'm going to go ahead and do that and then come back when I'm done. Okay guys, so I have decided that for now I like it the way it is. I know that over time I am going to eventually comb these curls out, but I do really like this look, at least for today. Um, so I will do a 360 for you guys so you can see how it looks on me. I do love the swoop bang on it. I love the color 
and for today I do really like these curls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I just feel like it's giving, like, yes. <laughs> details on this wig. Let me see if I have a receipt. Okay, I'll be back with the details. Okay, so first I want you guys to know that the knots are not bleached. Um, I'm gonna have to put makeup in the part and obviously I cannot wear my wig cap way back here because you can see the like line of demarcation is very obvious okay so the exact order is the brown mix black loose wave five by five closure it's a c part and it's a glueless wig with bangs and i got mine in 16 inches but there were a different um excuse me there were a bunch of different lengths so pick what speaks to your spirit um so yeah this is loose wave and i think they were expecting me to comb these out but i do like i said i like this look for today so i'm going to keep it like this until the curls get a little bit too like frizzy and then i'll end up combing them out for the let me see if i can can i blow up this picture let me see I want to show you the picture that sold me on getting this wig <laughs> if I can find it okay I found it um, this is on the website so this is how it looked I see you didn't see that <laughs> I don't know if you guys can even see that but babe I saw this and I was like I need it I need it it is just so sexy <laughs> So, yeah, I got it and I love it. Um, I don't think I talked about the quality of the hair, but this this is soft. This is soft. Um, I have only combed the bangs, but there's no shedding in the bangs. Like, are you kidding me? This, this is gorgeous. I 10 out of 10 recommend this and you will see me wearing this in future videos because I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm going to take this off um, and get back to my vlog. <laughs> Let's see, it's 11.47 and I still have a ton of stuff to do. I have to clean the kitchen. I'll clean my daughter's playroom even though she's gonna mess it up again. I may or may not clean her playroom. I need to clean the bathrooms and I need to mop. My goal is to have all of this done before two so i can have like an hour to just sit and do nothing before i pick my daughter up if you guys have kids you know once you, you cannot turn you cannot blink you cannot do anything when you have a toddler because <laughs> all it takes is one second and they are getting into something they should not be getting into so i'm gonna eat real quick and then start cleaning and hopefully I'll get my hour to just chill. I'll be happy with that. All right, I'm about to go eat. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like seeing, not no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow. Somehow all the fans go bravo, smile so much to hide my sorrow. Say just shaky and bravado. Running from things, running from things 
run up from schemes Couple things I know, couple things I show, couple things I don't I can tell you my problems, I can tell you my sins I tell you my problems, I'm uncomfortable in my skin I'm uncomfortable with my ends, I'm uncomfortable with my friends I'm uncomfortable with my drinking, I'm uncomfortable with my thinking I'm uncomfortable with my waist, I'm uncomfortable in this space I'm uncomfortable on good days, I'm uncomfortable on bad days I'm uncomfortable with my soul, I'm uncomfortable with my heart I'm uncomfortable with myself, I'm uncomfortable with my heart I'm uncomfortable with my thoughts, I'm uncomfortable with my feelings And sadly, I'm uncomfortable with healing to do today um, I got about an hour of time to that is my uh, robot vacuum excuse me um, I got every I got time to do everything that I needed to get done today which is good for me I am about to go pick up my daughter from daycare um, but I wanted to document my sugar fast journey so today I'm actually on day 10. Um, I'm following a book like someone in my Facebook friends that I knew of. Um, she posted this book for a 40 day sugar fast and I thought it would be very beneficial to me. I actually feel like I have almost like a sugar addiction. <laughs> I pretty much do have a sugar addiction. Um, I have eaten candy probably every single day since 2019. Um, give or take a few days here and there where I just decided like oh I'm not gonna eat candy this day but besides that I've eaten candy probably every day um, since then so I'm on day 10 of no candy I have not eaten bread um, and I've pretty much avoided things with high fructose corn syrup and that's basically the goal of the fast um, I actually bought a book for it. Um, I use my Kindle for reading because I have too many books and I'm a military spouse and we move quite a bit so having like a ton of books um, just it's not something I feel like I can have right now until we become a little bit more sedentary. Um, we're not at that point yet but um, this is the book right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's this one, 40 Day Sugar Fast. And the premise of this book is getting rid of your sugar vice and um, instead of turning to sweets and sugar, turn to Jesus. Um, so if you are not particularly religious, then this book specifically might not be for you, but you can still do a sugar fast if you want to. Um, as far as weight, I started off I think I was I was sitting somewhere between 180 and 184 like I would kind of go in between those that range um, I only weigh myself every Monday so when I weighed myself yesterday which was Monday I was 176.6 and I don't think I have weighed that much in over a year so even after only 10 days um, and no exercise i did not start exercising yet so once i start exercising i'm probably wow gonna lose quite a bit of weight so i need to be careful with that because um i'm really tall so um, i can start looking sick kind of fast um, if i lose too much weight here so um yeah i obviously lost that amount of weight just by cutting out um like juice and candy you know all the things that i love pretty much <laughs> but um so far i haven't been struggling i feel like last week i was getting a headache here and there that might have been some symptom symptoms of withdrawal um, but so far this week i've been good to go um as far as skin i haven't seen a difference because i don't feel like my skin was really 
too bad to begin with. Um, the only thing I have on my face right now is probably acne scarring, which th that's going to take a very long time to get rid of, so I'm not counting that. Um, but I am going to start working out tomorrow. Um, so today, January 10th, I will I weigh 176.6. Um, I will do a weekly check-in. How about that? I'll do a weekly check-in to see how my weight is fluctuating, if I'm gaining, losing, that sort of thing. And if I do notice some things with my skin, then I'll um, update it here. Um, I don't feel more or less tired. Um, one thing that I'm really hoping to see is some sort of mental clarity. I do feel like I had a bit of mental fog and that um, my memory was not as great as it used to be and I'm not sure if my eating habits were affecting that so this will be a test to see if that was the cause so that's really what I'm hoping for um, and just to be healthier to, to make healthier choices and after this 40 day fast is over I'm definitely going to eat sugar again <laughs> Um, I, I do still have cravings. Maybe down the line I won't have cravings, but I'm, I'm sure I will. Um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But so far for these first 10 days, I have been fine. Um, I haven't really been tempted. Um, if there's a temptation, like there was a party, um, at work yesterday. So, um, when people were eating refreshments, I just excused myself so I wouldn't be tempted to eat cake or anything. And besides that, yeah, I haven't really been tempted to eat anything um, that would make me break my fast. Um, one thing that might have been like accidental is cough drops. Um, like if I have a sore throat, then what am I supposed to do? Um, cough drops might have sugar in it, but that's like medicine, so I can't really get out of that. So that's probably the only thing that I have eaten that might have sugar in it. Um, but yeah, your girl's going strong and i am got 30 more days. <laughs> um, so, alright. Um, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm gonna go pick up my daughter and I'll see you next time.